What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to my Ultimate Smart Home Episode 2. So let's kick off the episode by looking at one of the many Wemo switches that I have around my house. It's a very simple piece of smart home tech that allows you to control your outlet using your smartphone. You essentially plug it into any outlet you want, you download the app and sync it together and you're pretty much done. The most common thing that I see a lot of people using their Wemo switch with are lamps. So instead of having to walk over to the lamp and manually turn it on, I can just log onto my app and turn it on or off from there. Another cool feature about the app is that you can set schedules so that the lights can turn on and off on specific times of the day. For example, you can have the lights turn on before you get home from work and have it go off a few minutes after you get in bed. And those are just some examples. Next up on the list is my front door lock. And because security is really important to me, I picked up the smart door lock from Pin Genie. And speaking of security, I do want to take a moment and thank LastPass for sponsoring this video. LastPass is the easiest, most secure way to store all your accounts from banking to email and even the smart tech apps that you use on a daily basis. I've been using LastPass on my desktop for years, way before they reached out to sponsor this episode, and I just love not having to remember over 20 different passwords or dealing with locked up accounts. Another cool feature of LastPass is the vault. It securely stores all of my important information like bank accounts, credit cards, and other sensitive information. So whenever I need to check out online, I can refer to the vault, or I can even have LastPass autofill the payment section. It saves me a lot of time, and most importantly, it's extremely secure. LastPass is free to use and is available on iOS and Android, as well as your desktop PC, and I'll drop a link below if you guys want to check it out. Alright, so back to the front door lock I was talking about. Uh, one of the things I love about this lock is that you can control it using your smartphone. It is connected via Bluetooth, so you do have to be within a certain distance. Unfortunately, I don't know what the max distance is, I looked everywhere online, but I was able to connect to it from anywhere in my home. I was upstairs in my office, which is about 50 feet away from the door, and had no connection issues. Obviously, it does come with a touchscreen pin pad, so you can enter in the code manually if you like, or you can use the keyhole for backup scenarios when the lock runs out of battery. Speaking of battery, you can check out the current percentage within the app, and I've been using this since the beginning of February, and it's already at 80%. One thing I do recommend with this lock are rechargeable batteries like I'm using with mine. That way, when it runs out of juice, you can just recharge them and put them back inside without having to buy new ones. So one of the things that really attracted me to this door lock instead of the other ones I looked on Amazon is how their app was designed. It's very user friendly and it comes with a load of features. My favorite one is that you can send an extra code to a friend and family member. It's awesome because you can set a specific time for the code to expire or you can even just give them a single entry door code instead. Once they use it, it automatically expires. Finally, let's take a look into my bedroom where all the action happens. So I have two smart home devices in here and they were both featured in my favorite tech of 2017. In case you guys missed it, I'll drop a link below. But the first item is the smart ring lamp from GE called Soul. And it pretty much acts as a desk lamp that you can control using your smartphone. You can set the color temperature of the light as well as the brightness. What's really cool about this is that you can enable clock mode, which will tell you what time it is by lighting up certain parts of the ring, kind of like an analog clock. But the best feature, of course, is the built-in Alexa. I can ask what the weather is like, what movies are playing right now, and things like that. But to be honest, the only thing I use it for is to set an alarm clock every single day. Hey Alexa, set an alarm clock for 7.11 p.m. Second alarm set for 7.11 p.m. For some reason, I really like the tone. It sounds very relaxing compared to the annoying ones on my smartphone. Last but not least, we have my smart bed. So this is the 8 Sleep and it comes with a built-in tracker and heater. The app is nice because it shows you all of your stats from your sleep. It shows you the sleep score, the time slept, how many times you've tossed and turned, heart rate, and a bunch of other stats. 
All of that is cool and all, but the one feature I use every single day is the built-in heater. I can control both sides of the bed and set the intensity of the heater as well as set a timer for it to turn off. Currently, I do have a schedule set up so that the bed starts warming up every night at 12 a.m. and shuts off at 3 a.m. So that way it's nice and toasty before I get into bed. And that pretty much wraps up this episode. If you guys enjoy the series and want me to continue doing them on the channel, leaving a like would be awesome. And if you guys didn't like the video, please leave a dislike as well. Uh, everything mentioned in the video will be linked below and make sure you guys check out LastPass. I'll also drop a link to that below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.